All right, our final couple slides here, just to wrap up. The idea of PowerView is one of their newest components. PowerView in SQL Server is something that has to be used in conjunction with SharePoint. So if you are going down the road of SQL Server as your data store, SharePoint as your hub and your front end and your intranet with dashboards, then PowerView could be very, very useful to you. Your PowerView comes with two major components. It is a visualization tool. It gives you direct interactivity for data exploration. You can drill through data. You can filter data. You can have filters that filter each other. It takes what Excel already does and specializes it for business intelligence data and adds a whole bunch of bells and whistles to, to make it much more powerful. And the idea here is you build these semantic tabular models. You put your power view as a report against that model and it gives you the full spectrum of capabilities in Excel. And then you take that power view workbook and you publish it to SharePoint. And SharePoint's power view component allows you to visualize that Excel information inside of the SharePoint universe. Much like the regular Excel services lets you see an Excel workbook, but now you've taken all that power and you've made it web-based. So again, it's got aspects that assist everybody from developers to end users. As a developer, all of the power of you functionality can be embedded in your own applications, can be used as part of your reports. There are actually viewer controls in reporting services. That's one of the new things in reporting services that allow you to display power view workbooks inside of a report as if it were the report data itself. For your power users and your IT pros, they can go in, they can build very complex environments, they can reuse filtering that they've already worked on. It's a very flexible infrastructure that is very friendly to people who are comfortable with Excel. It does work within Report Builder. So if you're building Report Builder reports through reporting services, you can build your Power View components. Same with your Report Designer. And then Project Crescent is PowerView in SharePoint. It's the visualization of this information through the SharePoint interface. When we look at the kinds of reports that we can build from this, we see that we have all sorts of kinds of charts, graphs, bubble charts, line charts. It has direct capabilities to pull images out of databases and use those images in reports. And these reports can be integrated to interact with each other, to filter each other, where the filters can even filter other filters. So we can get cascading filtering. All of these components, all these new features have one underlying truth. And that is that they have built them with the idea not just of giving you a lot of power and a lot of functionality, but also to optimize your experience. The embedding of the VertiPak engine, the changing of the underlying page structure, gives significant performance benefits for working with large data, for doing multidimensional analysis, and for building these models that are then used as part of our reporting environments. As we work in our Power View, not only can we take advantage of those optimizations, but we can also extend our models by creating key performance indicators, by creating new measures that can be used as part of our power pivot tables, so our pivot tables and our pivot charts. We can hide tables, columns, measures, build hierarchies that allow us to drill through our data. They've put a lot of functionality that you would expect in a true multidimensional environment right inside the tabular semantic model so that you can take full advantage of it for all of your modeling needs. And finally, as we look at our optimization here, remember that part of their goal here was to build a new structure for handling data. So you still have your data sources. Now you have the idea of the BI semantic model as your logic tier, your data access tier that has the rules for who has permissions to see what, that builds your customizations on that model, that builds in your aggregations, that optimizes how that data is going to be stored and how it's going to be made available, either directly or through caching. And that model becomes 
the core building block that all of your reporting then interacts with. Whether it's your Excel, whether it's SharePoint, whether it's reporting services, whether it's analysis services, all of these things then build off of the models so that you can build very rich ways of working with your data, very rich ways of analyzing your data.